With the release of version 1440 of Peelless Pole, you can now insert guide strain insulators within down guides for clearance and strength checks. Let's look at an example of using these in PLS CAD. Structure 2 is a guide 3 pole dead end. You can run the lines report structure clearances command to check clearances of the currently displayed weather case to all structures in the line. For this example, we will just focus on structure number 2 so we can change the start and end structure accordingly. In the next table, you have the voltage of all lines in the model and you can enter a bundle diameter if needed and the required clearance for each voltage. For this example there is no bundle and we'll set the required clearance of the 69 kV line to 2.5 feet. At the bottom of the dialog you can choose to clear markers before starting and also only check clearance to guys instead of the entire structure. The reduction factor for clearance to guy strains can also be entered here in order to reduce the clearance requirement to a guy strain insulator. The output options allows you to generate a report and drop graphical markers. For this demonstration we will not create a report and just drop markers for the example. After running the command you can then zoom in on the structure and you will see that the required clearance of 2.5 feet is not met in several instances. We'll focus on just the one guy for this example where the clearance is 2.4 feet. If we were to insert a guy strain insulator in this area, it would reduce the clearance requirement by the input reduction factor. First, you will want to edit the structure and we can go to the components, insulators, guy strain properties where you can input the guy strain information you wish to use. For this example, we will use a 4 foot guy strain insulator and I have given it a 4 foot length with a tension capacity of 20 kips. The diameter column can be input to properly display the guy strain in line with the guy wire. For this model I will use a 2 inch diameter rod. Once the data has been input you can hit save and then go to the geometry, insulators, guy strain to attach to the guy. The guy in question is S1BG. So first you would enter a label for the guy strain. We'll use IGS1. We'll pick the 4 foot GSI from our property list. Then we'll pick a down guy we wish to attach to which is the S1BG. The last column is the distance down the guy where we want to attach the guy strain insulator. We'll start with 5 feet and see if this meets our requirements. Then hit OK and we can see that the guy strain rendered in the model does not appear to be in the location where we want to provide clearance to the conductors. Using the Entity Info Snap, we can snap to the guy strain insulator and left click to pull up the context menu where we can select the Move command to move the strain insulator. The guy strain insulator will highlight blue where you are moving it and you can choose to even move it to different guys. But we want to place it in close proximity where the actual dead end insulator is for the guy. After moving this, you can hit save and go back to PLS CAD. And you will see the model has been updated with the guy strain insulator. So now you can rerun the lines report structure clearances command. And if we look at the section with the new guy strain, it meets the clearance requirement with the clearance reduction factor of 0.75 that was input in the dialog. The guy strain insulator and the clearance reduction factor are taken into account in the lines report structure clearances report in PLS CAD as well as when using the geometry insulator's find allowable suspension swing angles in PLS pole. If you would like to learn more information about our software you can see our website at www.palwine.com. If you would like some information about our software you can contact us directly at info at powline.com and finally if you would like to purchase our software you can contact our sales team directly at sales at powline.com we look forward to hearing from you soon